I don't yeah. know. Um, Okay, so we always promise to be on time. So we'll get started here. I know we're gonna have people joining us later. So uh, we're gonna get started, make sure everyone has a beverage. We're gonna keep this really simple. This one is 1000%, 100% engagement, engagement, engagement. Um, so here is to actually planning ahead for the AVMA. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I don't know how many of you never plan until like right before and you're like, oh, I forgot to make dinner reservations. I forgot to do this. And uh, so Brenda and I were joking that it would be great, especially since it's in Denver. And we've had we've been to Denver now for AHA. We've been to Denver for a couple of other meetings. And is this AVMA's second time in Denver? It is. Yeah, AVMA was in Denver just what four years ago, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. So so it helps us a little bit. And and Mike is going to be able to help jump in a little bit and talk um, about some other things. But actually, we get our choice. Do we want to talk about symposiums first? networking first or dinner reservations one two or three two the parties the parties, the parties. okay <laughs> that's so i've got category. <laughs> that's the fun so literally you guys i have little signs so that brenda is going to keep us on track but like we have dinner options we have networking symposiums we have them all um where to be and when yeah so that's one we're going to cover first where to be and when and uh, moving forward with that one so I did some homework. Did anyone else want to jump in first? We're going to start putting these in the chat too, so that everyone will be able to keep these because I want to make sure that that is um, uh, no, functional wait, for everybody. What is number two? What are we starting with? Okay. We're starting with the networking. The networking. Okay, great. So I'm going to start off. I'm going to copy these and put this all into the chat. Um, no. Whoops, that. Okay. Um, I started the chat. I want to be sure these are ones that um, I can't take full credit for. We did have, oh, that does not want to copy and paste into this. Shoot. I got to figure out how to do that. Um, so I can go ahead and start and say the first one, the first networking one are the two most important ones are going to be Bridge Club events. So the first is going to be on February 13th. And that one is starting at February. 8 o'clock. I'm sorry. July 13th, Friday, July 13th. Like, that one is where starting. Are you going, Catherine? <laughs> what time, where am I at? What time is that one starting at, Brenda? That one starts at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. This one is going to be at the Honor Society. And this one is for both vet partners as well as AVMA attendees. And this one is a bourbon with a bridge club. So if you like your bourbon, come on over. You got to register online for that one. So that's and the first one. And to one of our drink with the bridge club events yet basically what we do is gather around in small groups and all the pile of questions we pull out and get the conversation going about some interesting interesting topics so it's networking but it's facilitated networking so if you come and get know anybody you are very quick to make friends where is it i gotta figure out who's making that noise whoops sorry deb i just muted you because i was worried it might have been coming on your side nope go ahead deb oh i just wondered where the honor society was Honor site it is, the address is 1900 16th Street, and it is on the trolley. It's along that 16th Street corridor where there are a lot of restaurants and things. It's called the Honor Society Handcrafted Eatery. So we'll be posting a lot of this on, on our website too, but 1900 16th Street. And you'll be, watch, watch very soon, we'll have the um, tickets for both Bridge Clubs events, the RSVPs up on the website. Um, maybe, well, maybe not this week, but soon. Okay, now I understand why it's not going where it needs to go. I was putting it in the wrong spot. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so we'll also put ours up there too, Brenda, if we want to add that one in. The second is the Bridge Club event, and that one is going to be our icon series. We will be launching who the icon is in the coming days, we hope, um, and that is going to be on uh, July 16th. That is going to be at, what time is that one at, Brenda? Five. Five. Um, and then that one is going to be um, a unique event. This is a special only event. It's going to be, um, there is going to be a fee for all members, including all access, because we're bringing in this icon. There will be limited space. Um, and this is meant to be kind of a sit down um, discussion, if you will, with this icon. And so we are really excited. We're just starting to promote that. So that'll be on Monday. But I put up in here some other ones that came to light for us. Um, 
this is the Pride VMC is going to be in the town hall on Saturday. And then there's going to be followed by a networking event. So I think that's really cool. Uh, Ellen uh, Lowerly uh, gave us that one. Um, also, the AAIV networking reception on Saturday, um, she said would be a really good one. And then the really big one, which I'm sure Michael is probably super geeked about, is what's it called, Michael? I was going to say, let him talk about it. Let, let, let other people talk about some of their sessions, too. Oh, you can't hear you. Oh, we can't hear you. Okay. Mike's not muted. Hold on. Try again. Can't hear you. Damn it. Oh. See if you can figure out what's happening with this microphone. This is. Can't hear you. You need to turn up your volume a little bit. Yeah, turn up your volume. Sometimes that has something to do with it, too. Technical difficulties. It always happens. It does, unfortunately. Oh, I can't hear him. So maybe dial in uh, as separately. You could always do that too, uh, Michael, because um, we want to be sure that you can, you should have the dial in for that, for the number to be able to do that or join via phone. Get it to him. It, if not, Brenda will work that. But while he's figuring that out, this one is actually, just nod your head, Michael, if I'm right. It is love. Wait, <laughs> what is it? Wait, hang it's on here. Live, live life, love all, right? Love all, yeah. And so this is, okay, yeah, you say it. Go, go ahead, uh, Deb, you jump in and you tell it because you got the whole write-up. Yeah. Okay, it's Live Life, Love All Performance at AVMA by the Barking Cats. And oh, Barking oh I didn't cats. know that. Well, that's with Barking Cats. And it includes members of the veterinary community um, providing a musical experience. It's on Saturday, July 14th from 7 to 11 p.m. as the note says there, and it's in the Hard Rock Cafe. So it comes to the AAIV networking reception first and then go to this. Um, this is uh, sponsored by the Diversity and Veterinary Medicine and Friends. Everybody's welcome to attend, guest. All you have to do is wear your name badge, bring a guest. Anybody who wants to sing is gonna be just, whatever happens, it's just gonna be a lot of fun. Cash bar and appetizers. Awesome. Awesome. But uh, that one seems like a lot of fun just because of the title. It just seems like a change for the, mm -hmm. I, I hate to say this and be politically incorrect, but it seems like a change for the ABMA and it kind of has me pretty geeked up about it. So I like the title. I think that's kind of fun. Um, Michael, did you get sound? I just sent him the, the um, so we can oh, Okay. He still doesn't have sound. But halal, thank you. We are on networking events. Now the, the hotel that is, a, that is attached or, or not attached is the Hyatt, right? That's the main good hotel that's got that good bar, right? It's got the, the bar at the top, like the high level bar. And it's also got the big, um, the big bar that's in the um, entry area. Yeah, so that's a good networking to make sure you're walking through that and making sure you're being seen. Yeah. Any other good places you guys can think of where they'll walk through to make sure you're seen? That anyone can think of by chance? Because I know that's the biggie, right? You've got to be able to work your way through to see all the right people at the right time. Maybe we can okay. walk around because some things are going to come to mind as we start talking about other topics too. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, any other networking pieces that people know about other parties? So we know the Bridge Club is doing really great. We know that they've got uh, the VMC, the AV, uh, AIV, and the Love Fest. I'm just going to The Love Fest. To remember it. Um, the Love Fest. Um, Anything maybe. else that's really, like, Halal, what are you going to be doing when you're there for networking? Um, well... I haven't, I honestly haven't had that much time to think about it because I just got back from Fetch, like from Virginia Beach. Um, but I am speaking, I think the second day. So that's all, as far as I've gone. And I was looking at some like places for Brenda. I found some, yeah. Oh, good. You found yeah. some. So that, yeah, I don't, I'm not extremely familiar with ABMA conferences. The first one I went to was the leadership one earlier this year in Chicago. Yep, the VIC. And that, that's as far as I've, I, yeah, sorry, I don't have too much. The whole lot of learning right along with all of us. 
Yeah. Uh, and I just moved here like yeah. six months ago. So I don't even know. I think I've been to the convention center once. So I don't even know what the layout or anything. I'm not really familiar. Depends too on what, where they're located in the convention center, but it'll all, it, you know, luckily there's that 16th street trolley that goes up and down. So there'll be a lot of easy access to a lot of, a lot of fun places. And no matter what hotel and event is being held at, it's pretty easy to get to, which is good. Yeah, just the one thing I wanted to look into just when I, cause I'm part of an improv comedy group was to see if there's any improv or comedy events going on that would be oh. really affordable. Cause sometimes there are free shows. Yeah, that's true. Um, so I, my, that was my goal is to look into what's happening during the week of AVMA for comedy and improv. So I also adding on to that, and I, I wish I could find my sheet. So there is, and I will find it because I wrote it down, that there is, and I wonder if I threw it away by accident, there is actually a wine tasting that you could do during the day, oh. any day of the week. It's a little, and it's close to the convention center. There was that. Also, the Denver Rockies are playing. Um, so that's another one. The Colorado, sorry, Colorado Rockies, <laughs> they're playing. And the then there was, don't play baseball. <laughs> yeah, but, but uh, there was one other thing from when you talk about stuff that's a little different, a little well, out there that I thought would be kind of fun. Away from networking and into the fun now, there are a couple of things I wanted to mention. I don't know if you guys may be aware of them. Like, this sounds really cool. The concert this year for AVMA is going to be in a sculpture park that is pretty near the convention center. And the, the band that is playing is OAR. They're a oh little my god, fun. I love OAR. Yeah, they're so fun. It is a fun. They're so great. You know, yeah, you'll be dancing out of your shoes. It's just, they're fun and kind of a little bit rowdy. I wouldn't say irreverent necessarily, but they're just a blast to watch. And their music is really fun to, uh, to dance to, too. So if anybody wants to, that's on um, Sunday from 6.30 to 9.30. But the other thing I wanted to mention, too, and I'm not trying to get anybody to go off-site, but if you're into Imagine Dragons... They're playing um, at Red Rocks, I think. It's yeah, but there Red weren't any tickets left, were there? Well, StubHub. You can get things on StubHub, right? I mean, if you're, really, if you're a huge Imagine Dragons fan, that is um, kind of a cool thing to do. Red Rocks is amazing if, if you haven't been up there. It's a pain to get there. It's a pain to get back. But once you're there, it's pretty cool. So, that, that's pretty cool. So what, in it, while she's been talking to you guys on the chat, I just inserted a bunch of symposiums. Um, so that way you'll have a list of those symposiums, um, which uh, I want to be sure that we also hit. And Halal, I actually put yours on there. What? Oh, really? My speaking session, you mean? Yeah. So oh. if, if, if you scroll up, actually, she was right. So she, she, is, um, she is talking on Saturday at 3 p.m. I hope I got that time right. Uh, mm -hmm. with traumatic stress, the great pretender, understanding your neurobiology before it's too late. Yeah, it's so that's her. Um, and so what I ended up doing was I found, so because we are so fortunate at the Bridge Club to have such amazing hosts uh, join us, so I grabbed a lot of our hosts and pulled them in so that that way we would be able to, um, oh wait, did I just, yeah, I did that to everybody for a minute there. I thought I screwed it up and didn't. Um, so uh, let's go through these and let's see if anyone has any others. You guys can kind of read through them, but I don't want to be dominating the conversation because I get a little excited. <laughs> Mike, can we finally hear you? I'm doing... No, oh, you no. can't. Dialing in didn't even work. Shoot. Wait, how do I? I know, I, I emailed the number. Oh, this is just not making a positive experience for him. That makes me sad. I know. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, in fact, I'll, why don't I find the number and just read it too? Um, and then if you need the, okay, so hold on. I got to be able to see. Got to pull uh, up the readers. Dialing number is, for anybody who needs it, 646 876 9923. And if you need the meeting ID, it's 979-102-707. Yeah, because it should just then pop your face up as well, Mike, to have it just as you don't have, you're doing an audio. And I can try to, 
Okay, so Mike's going to be the DJ and the MC. Really? <laughs> Mike's the DJ. <laughs> well, that's what it says here. I'm just confirming for Deb. Oh, with M with Deb at a concert. And that is that concert the OAR one? Yeah. Well, I don't oh. know. No, the Debs is a different one. The the concert that's the OAR is on Sunday and it's in the sculpture park. Oh. Shoot, Mike, we still can't hear. I don't under, I don't understand why. You dialed in and everything? That's Yeah, we can't hear. I don't Oh wait, no wait, wait, wait. Unmute audio on that. Try that one. Now talk. Can you hear me now? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know what's going on with my laptop, but I'll give a couple quick synopsis about the Live Life Love All event. It's a diversity and inclusion event on Saturday night. Um, I'm actually hosting this with Deb Stone. It was kind of my idea. Uh, I'll be a DJ. I actually have a, I have a DJ business in Chicago and I used to be on the radio in Atlanta. So I'll be the DJ. We'll have karaoke songs. You can you anybody in the Barking hey, Cats is really the Barking Cats is really just a conglomerate of a jam session of anybody that wants to get up and do some entertainment. So you can sing with the band. I have karaoke songs. You want to do karaoke? You can do a, like a air guitar type of thing if you want to do it. So it should be all about the fun. Um, and it, we really want everybody to have a good time. We we're promoting for all the different um, organizations to give us a quote on diversity and inclusion. And we will be putting that up on the screens around the Hard Rock Cafe so everybody can see what, what different organizations think about diversity and inclusion. So that's another piece that we're adding. Um, and then Sunday night is the Food Truck Fest slash concert. So we're going to have about 10 food trucks out there. It'll be a concert with the DJ. I'm not DJing that one, though. Um, <laughs> It will be, uh, we have a local cover band out of Chicago called Sweet Diesel Jenkins. They do a lot of 80s, 90s, early millennial mashups. Um, they're really good. They play at a lot of the local festivals here in the summertime, like Taste of Chicago. They do the Milwaukee uh, Sweet, Sweet Orange Fest. Um, and then OAR will go on. Um, but that should be really fun. Again, that'll be Sunday from 6.30 to, to 9.30. Yeah. So. Oh my God, that's awesome. Yeah, that will be a blast. This is going to be, I think, the most fun AVMA in my 112 years of being in this profession has ever been. 112? <laughs> and I've been in longer than you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're at 113, Pat, but not much, though. <laughs> it, it's not really related to the conference, but the um, aquarium is fairly close to downtown, yeah. and they have a restaurant. And so if you have family coming, it's a nice place for the family to go and they can tour the aquarium and um, you can have lunch with them. That's a good idea. That yeah. is fantastic. A couple other things too, um, is on Friday night are all the, um, all the alumni receptions that happen for all the different schools. Uh, Saturday night, we also have a young professionals and vet technician event at the baseball game. I saw so that. for those people that want to go. So that's happening Saturday, and then they can come to the Live Life Love All event after the fact. And then Friday, we added a new social piece to convention. We're going to have an exhibit hall reception that happens at 3 o'clock, goes to 3 to 4.30. Uh, I, again, will be your local DJ for that. Um, it's just kind of a last-minute opportunity to kind of hang out and network a little bit. And then we'll have an after party at there's a local pizza, pizzeria like bar that's right connected to the convention center. We're going to be there at 5.30. So. Oh, and then you can pop on over to the Honor Society for our Bourbon with the Bridge Club. Bourbon, after you've had sure. your free drink <laughs> and your pizza, then you can come have bourbon. Sounds like a perfect night to me, right? It does yeah, sound be. like a really fun night. <laughs> so anything else that the, besides the social, because that sounds really fun and exciting. I feel like the vibe is definitely changing with the AVMA, but um, Mike, is there anything from like an educational perspective that you really um, also inside at AVMA, they're really wanting to pump up a lot? Yeah, one of the big things that we're looking to do this year um, from a CE standpoint, educational standpoint, uh, is really to promote uh, career opportunities within the, the veterinary industry. So we actually started CE courses earlier this year. Typically on Friday, we started at 10 o'clock last year. We moved that up to 8 o'clock. 
and we have some career professional development courses that will be happening um, beginning on Friday. But we're also doing uh, something new this year from a standpoint of helping to promote career opportunities. We're reaching out to all the exhibitors and we're having them to designate a person at their exhibit booth that anybody can go speak to about career opportunities. Those people will be, be flagged by a maroon and gold ribbon on their name tag. And we'll have a list of who, what different companies are, have identified those people to be at our vet, uh, BCC, our Veterinary uh, Career Center, which is going to be at the AVMA Pavilion, but also be at the info desk. So if you're looking for a job opportunity and you want to speak to somebody, you'll have a list of who you can go to to talk to at the exhibit and connect with them and set up some, some more uh, opportunities if you like. This will hopefully grow into what we're going to call next year the vet, um, the veterinary career center lounge because we're going to create a lounge that you do free headshots and things of that nature next year. Oh. We are offering, we're offering free headshots this year. They will be at, if you all know Stacy Purcell, they'll be right by her booth. We're offering free headshots to go to your LinkedIn page. So you have that opportunity. And then the big thing for us is uh, we have an exhibit. Some of you may remember the last couple of years. It's called Vet Clinic Live. Yeah, that's going to be so, so cool. Yeah, Vet Clinic Live is going to be for this year. It's all about the connected, the connected experience. It's about showcasing virtual care. It's also about showcasing the digitized practice. So that'll be a new innovative piece. We've gotten a lot of momentum around it. If some of you all were at the Texas A&M event. Scott Eccles, who's one of the presenters, talked about some of the things he's going to show. Uh, Chad Dye is going to do a lot about virtual, virtual care, telehealth. Um, so we're really excited about that. So that's also in the exhibit hall and what happened during exhibit hall hours. So is that going to be open when you guys do the reception? Yep. Oh, awesome. Yeah, it'll be open. So that, the exhibit hall opens up at Saturday after the keynote at 12 o'clock. So 12 to 4 on Saturday. Um, it'll be 7 o'clock till 5 o'clock on Sunday. And then on Monday, it'll be 7 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. And that'll be that's open during that same time. Yeah. I really like that a lot. Yeah, I like that a lot. Stuff, Mike, really good stuff. Um, one of the that caught my eye, Mike, you can maybe elaborate a little bit on too, is the mentoring panel discussions. I couldn't find much information about it, but someone had mentioned to me that there are um, going to be, there's going to be a mentoring panel set up. Yes. Yeah, one of the, the courses I think it's uh, to, going to professional development, they have a mentoring program that they've set up. One of the, I'm not sure what day it is. I have to go look at it, look it up, but it's part of some of that educational piece that will go on on Friday morning. Okay. Um, I think Dr. Bergen Dewey and folks from the, the, the Virginia, Maryland area are kind of promoting that. Um, but again, this is something that will be expanded next year because our goal is to take that and put it actually in the, the BCC lounge that we're going to do next year to, to have it something that's a little more engaging for people and give people a little bit more one-on-one -on -one opportunity to speak to some of the panelists as well. So. So I can tell you that session, uh, Brenda, is at eight o'clock in the morning. It's called To Be or Not to Be the Power of Mentorship. And it does seem that there is a track that was like like Mike is saying, um, but it's going to have Jeremy King, Stith Kaiser, uh, Becky Moser, Mark Rusak, Lori Teller, and Emily Tincher okay. um, are going to be on that panel. So, um, and I did put that in the chat for everybody as right. well, because I know Lori had mentioned that one yeah. Uh, yeah. to us. So yeah. I am looking, we're at, at 24. So the one and most important one we haven't talked about That's is I'm dinner. I'm, so, I'm, for, I'm getting so excited <laughs> to put my information up here. Dinner options. <laughs> <Two>. <laughs> so dinner options. I know, Brenda, you were looking and you had quite a few. I, well, I have a couple of my very favorites that I have to share with you guys. One of them is called Tamayo. It's T-M-A-A-Y-O. Um, and it's at 1400 Larimer. It is um, Mexican, but it's kind of got that Denver twist to it. They have a really cool rooftop. You can go up and have drinks or you can dine up there as well. But the food is just simply amazing, amazing, amazing. So if you like Southwestern food at all, I would highly recommend that one. And then the other one is again, the Honor Society Handcrafted Eatery where we're having a couple of, um, of our events. Um, it, all the food there is, is like super fresh. It's all fresh sourced. From the area and it's all made in a really healthy way even the drinks are made with kind of healthy ingredients and things like that so um, that's a really cool fun one and then 
also everybody has been to a Capitol Grill, but there's a, a really well run Capitol Grill that is right there along the, that 16th Street um, corridor as well. So if you're into Capitol Grill, um, that happens to be, I think, one of the best run Capitol Grills I've ever been to in my life. And I've been mm. to a couple. So if you're into that kind wow. of thing. Yeah, so those are my top three. I didn't want to dominate the conversation here, but I'm like, oh, I have to, I have to share those because they're all so good. So Hilal, have you found a good restaurant in your short time there? Right as you're chowing. I'm just like <laughs> eating and putting my groceries away because I'm going on a, there's a lot of like club runs here. There's a Denver beer run, beer company run. So I'm going on that after that, after this. But in terms of... <laughs> um restaurants i would say yeah like i can see why abma organized like food trucks because like the food trucks are just like huge here so be fun. Oh, for, um for brewery too have you been to the wing coop brewery no well yeah yeah i mean anybody who's into breweries it's called the the wind coop and it's kind of a fun place to go eat as well and if you like like craft brewed beers it's not too far from um coors field where the road yeah. So well, I'll send over the winery one because it is, I'll find it again. It's, it's yeah. meant to be, it's like during the day. So it's perfect if you um, arrive in early, it's like every single day of the week. If you arrive in early and you're like, yeah, I don't feel like yet, you know, checking in or I need to do something. I thought it'd be a really fun one to kind of put out there or something very different is just something simple to do. So um, we can definitely add that one. Simple or not so simple. Good, good. Long you stay. There's also a location that we were looking at this place for the Live Life Love All event. There's a place called Dazzle, um, which is right off, uh, I want to say 16th as well. Uh, it's a jazz supper club. And oh. from my understanding, talking to uh, Ralph Johnson, it's a pretty, if you're really into jazz music, it's a great location. They deep jazz, they have different acts that come in, but they also serve dinner there. They have a new location. Um, and I think they have something every night, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, even probably, I think they're every night, but Monday, they do different events there. So folks that want get there early and want something to do, that's another location. I love this because, you know, oh, I know we're out of time. So for those that need to drop off. We can keep going, but we, you know, I mean, anybody who wants. We want to be sure, everyone who has to drop off, if, if Halal's got to get to her run. Um, but <laughs> um, what I do. I think I have a little bit of time still. <laughs> What I do like is mm -hmm. the dinner reservations are critical, right? Because with that many people coming into town in the nap, uh, kind of uh, couple block area, it's gonna be really critically important to get those reservations in early. Though it does appear, Mike, that we're gonna be fed a lot. There seems to be a lot of food options. We're trying to, you know, I'm trying to change convention a little bit and make a little bit more of a, a social aspect of it. So I come from the food industry, so I'm used to that. Well, bravo, because it sounds amazing. I mean, it really- But for the food trucks, we got to pay for it, right? Yeah, so there's a fee for the food trucks. And part of that is why we, we've set that up because a portion of the food truck sales goes back to the AVMA Foundation. Mm, so nice. we set Oh, that's up. nice. Awesome. I like that. Super affordable, the food trucks, usually, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. And we'll also no, have, I... uh, we'll have a microbrewery out there as well that, uh, that our PAC is actually kind of sponsoring but they will also, they'll be selling cups in the convention center to get free beer from this microbrew, but folks can still purchase beer from that microbrew as well. We'll wow. also have other bars being set up. So it should be a good event. This, this does not sound like my mother's AVMA at this, all anymore. I was just say, this sounds like a party. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to fit any learning into the mix. There's just too much fun stuff to do right there. Yeah, that's the whole point. We want you to have fun. We want you to play hard and work hard. So. Yeah. Um, and if you think you like this, wait till we go to DC next year. So it'll be even more. Very cool. Wow, he is setting that bar so high. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm, I think oh. that's awesome. What's happening think... on Friday night again? What's Friday night? Friday night are the alumni receptions um, that we have. Uh, okay. So for your different alumni chapters. One thing I also want to kind of mention on Friday night, or Friday afternoon at five o'clock, we have the Meet the Experts Roundtable that yeah. goes on in the convention center. So that's another educational piece. We started that last, the last couple of years. It's grown every year. So it's more of a one-on-one a -on -one opportunity with some of the speakers that will be speaking over the course of the weekend. Um, we have roundtables of 10. It's kind of like a speed dating situation. So it should be pretty fun. And we think we'll get a lot of, lot of participation in that. Very cool. 
who were some of the people, Mike, who were going to be at that Meet the Experts? I was trying to find um, a, a rundown and I couldn't, I couldn't find it yet anywhere. We haven't listed yet, but I can send that out and, and to you all. I mean, you have, I mean, I can't even, there's so many things in my head right now, but there's a lot of different speakers. A lot of our, some of our top speakers that we have that are talking about cannabis use, some people are talking about disasters. They will be speaking at those events. I know um, Pride VMC is going to have a table. I know the foundation is going to have a table. Split's going to have a table. So they're all talking about different aspects of, of the veterinary industry that they, they deal with. And then some of the top, our top, our top, our top, top topics that we're offering, those speakers will also have tables there too. That'll be fun. And too. that's at, you said that's at five o'clock. Is that next to the exhibit hall or where is that? That's right in the exhibit hall. So if you're familiar with Denver, um, it's down by the Belco Theater where the keynote will be. It'll be right outside that area, right in the kind okay. of foyer. Um, but it'll happen at five o'clock. Um, and then, you know, it would be basically you'll have three, uh, I think 25 minute to 30 minute sessions and we'll rotate. So you can get to go to different tables over that, those three different times. Okay. And how okay. long does it go for? Five to six thirty. Ooh, um, tight. And well, then when does the alumni stuff start? 7 p.m. 7 to 7 to 10. Luckily, it doesn't take you very long to get if you go to. Yeah, shouldn't take you very long to get anywhere. Um, Eric, yeah, I, you right across the street. So. I saw that Eric had posted something about the VA, VA, v, VMAE reception. Is that for um, Veteran Medical Association executives only or is that something that is open to other people as well? I'll um, check with Ralph with that. I think it's um, just ex executives, but I'm not sure. They plan that themselves. Okay. Wasn't sure. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to, because that's also at the same time that uh, the Vet Partners is. So that's going to be kind of interesting as well. Yeah. I mean, I just, I just, yeah. the reason I ask is because I think there are some, some of the um, association executives are such fascinating people. It's always fun to get a chance to, to spend time chatting and it's hard to, hard to corral them sometimes. So I was just like, oh, if that's something that is kind of open, it's a good opportunity. But anyway, catch them another time. My so, so Friday's, Friday's just a busy day because there's a lot going on. There's a couple other award things. The Boost That Award's happening Friday. There's quite a bit of activity. One of the big challenges that we have with convention is just trying to stop some of the overlap, but it's unfortunately we can't really do that. Right. So we have things kind of bumping right back, right behind each other repetitively. So. Hopefully that will help, but um, we're looking at ways to try to space this out a little bit more to give more opportunities to people. I think it's brilliant. I think it's brilliant. Um, any, who all is going to uh, Vet Partners? I know I am. Is anyone else going to Vet Partners or am I the only one? Okay. I think me is going. I mean, I may be there. I'm not sure yet. Though. Okay. I bought my plane ticket today. <laughs> so I am there. I'll be, I'll be there for our party. You will be there for the party. Yes, you come in. Bourbon. Yeah, you'll be there definitely. Oh, guess what just pulled up in the driveway? And Pat, uh, she gave a little fib. They weren't officially here, but my dog's gonna lose her mind in a minute because the cops just showed up. <laughs> <laughs> they are right there. I see them coming. Yay! Yay. So for those, Mike, if you didn't know, for uh, our we did a thing where people could uh, register to be a Bridge Club member and they get their mug. So the oh, mugs are good. officially here. So uh, now oh, I can I start to send I them out. I, so I thought you go. said cops, not cups. And I was getting worried there for a minute. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. And then these are going to be next. These are coming next. So everyone can have their wine glass. And then, yeah, so we're working on it slowly but bourbon truly. But bourbon glasses will be coming forthcoming also. Yeah. Mike, I know this is probably your first experience with us. And therefore, you're finding out we like to drink. Well, I'm actually in my man cave, so oh. that's my. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. Well prepared. Hey, this is the perfect time for me. I'll just do it anytime. <laughs> I think that's awesome. So with that, I want to see if there's any last minute pieces because we want to be really conscious on everybody and and uh, NCIS is on tonight. Just in case anyone's curious, that's what my family will be doing this tonight while we put together boxes with cups. So is that Barnabas, Pat? Oh no, I saw a little, oh, okay. Oh, there's Natalia. Yes, um, it's Barnabas and Natalia. <laughs> I thought I saw a little dog nose poking over the top. So quick mm -hmm. question before we, before we go to, and I, I'm sorry, I jumped right over Catherine asked if any ideas, but I also am curious to know before everybody leaves, 
if you found this to be helpful or interesting, because if so, it's something we could potentially do before other conferences as well. So it's kind of a, this is a, a little test bunny to see if we, we like this. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think it's helpful because sometimes I honestly just don't have time to even think about what's happening at a conference until I'm there. So this has actually gotten me to start like thinking about what I want to do and um, what else is going on because sometimes there's just so much going on. Yeah. It helps for people to point out like this is happening and this is happening. Well, and we got the special of Mike, which we didn't expect, so that's huge. But Pat, to jump in. Our very own AVMA tour guide. <laughs> I agree that it's helpful. It might also be helpful to do another one maybe in a couple of weeks when we're a little bit closer and have had a chance to kind of map out some of this yeah. too. I don't know if that's something that is in the cards or not. Well, if Mike is available, I'd love to see if Mike wouldn't mind jumping in and helping us with that. So that might not be, I, I love it. Mike, I'll get with you after this. All I right. will tell you, we had a record number of registrants. I think it's the time that might be a challenge, but a lot of people said, I'm gonna watch it, I'm gonna watch it. So um, please realize that this is going to be going to a lot of people, so get your reservations in fast. <laughs> <laughs> also, real quick, just about the alumni thing, like Friday nights are, um, like I never have an alumni thing to go to because I went to Massey University in New Zealand and nobody puts on alumni events for, that um so if there are people who don't have their alumni um things to go to um friday nights are like the art walk oh good one i just saw deb's dog sorry Aww, <laughs> I got distracted. so like, cute oh, yeah, no. um so on santa fe avenue there's like a art walk where it's like wine and art night and it's where all the artists are like it's like this huge art Love walk it. So, that's good to know too just for people if like they don't have the alumni thing or anything else i think that's smart i think that's sweet. that's good thank you yeah. information okay you guys i think that's our our evening so with that everyone raise your glass and here is to a wonderful evening and to a great avma so cheers everybody cheers all cheers. thanks ladies thanks everyone thank you. all right